right, let's talk about um, some strategies on this one. What should we do, or what's a way to uh, begin solving this? Can we put this into a form like the problems that we've been working on? Yes. Yeah, because the negative power does what? It's going to take that whole base of 5 minus x, and it moves it down, changes the power to a positive. And we can do that here with the second one as well, minus 4x squared all over x minus 5 to the positive 4. So we, what we could do is we could rewrite it in this rational form. And now when we look to write it as a single fraction, we only have one common base, but we're going to take out which power? The 3 or the 4? How many x minus 5s do we need? We need 3 for this one, 4 for this one, so 4 would cover all of them. So there's our LCD. And so now as we combine this into one single fraction, we take the numerator of our first fraction times what LCD factor was missing from this denominator, an x minus 5, and then minus the next fraction's numerator, 4x squared, times what LCD factor was missing from this denominator, nothing. So again, you can either write 1 or you can leave it blank. It doesn't matter. Regardless of that, you can now simplify your numerator, combine all the like terms. So we have a 2x squared and a minus 10x. When we distribute here, again, it's just multiplied through. So we have a minus 4x squared. So our overall, we get a negative x squared minus 10x. So there is our numerator. Our denominator stays as it is. <coughs> now, can we remove any common factors from our numerator? Can we simplify this fraction? Maddie? Okay, so if we take out a negative 2 and a x. x, that leaves us with a positive x and a plus 5 all over x minus 5 to the fourth. Can anything cancel? No, these weren't like terms, so they don't cancel. So this is the form that we would be looking at. And now let me show you uh, one alternative way to solve this really quickly, and then I'll let you work the rest of the class time. <clears throat> we could also solve this problem by uh, thinking of it as a factoring problem. Okay. If we wanted to remove common factors here, we have two groups separated by a minus. Well, what common factors can we remove from those two groups? So what common factors? A two. So they both have a, a factor of 2. They also both have a factor of x. And what about the base x minus 5? They all both have a common base of x minus 5. Anytime you remove common factors, you always take out which power, the highest or lowest, when you factor. We took out here an x and an x squared. We took out x to the first. So you always take out the lowest power. So what's lower, negative 3 or negative 4? negative 4. So that's the power that you'll take out. And then if you recall, when we first did the chapter 3 stuff, I, I mentioned anytime you remove common factors, whatever's left has to have the same form as the original. So the original is one group minus another group. That means when we remove this common factor, or these common factors, that form has to be maintained, one group minus another. So let's see what's left in each of those. So we took out a 2. We took out an x, and we took out negative 4. Okay, when you take it out, you're dividing it out. Well, dividing is like doing what with the powers? No, well, that's with fractions. But when you divide, what do you do with powers? You divide two exponents with the same base. Subtract. So we're going to subtract the power of negative 4. Subtracting is equivalent to adding the opposite. So what's really left in this first group here? x minus 5 to the first. Hey, let's look at the second group. We took out a 2, leaving a 2. Took out one of the x's, again, or subtracted that power of 1. And then here we took out negative 4 of these, so minus a negative 4, add the opposite. We took out that entire group, so we're left with a 2 and an x in the second group here. So now when we rewrite this, we get 2x. This x minus 5 gets moved into the denominator, change the sign to 4. 
And then when we combine these like terms, x negative 5 and minus 2x leaves a negative x minus 5. And finally, if we take out a negative from those to be consistent with our factoring, move it in front of the 2x, this becomes an x and a plus 5. Okay, so you can also solve these by kind of leaving it as that rational power and then solve by factoring, which is what we did in chapter three.